You are the only member of the worship team that doesn't make your own sound, except for vocal delay. Once you start using delay, it's here to stay. And if you missed the vocal reverb tutorial, look for a link at the end of this video. There are basically two types of delay. There are delays that add space, and there are delays that are timed to the music. Now, writing a musical delay, or one that's timed to the tempo of the song, is probably one of the most fun things you can do while mixing. All right, let's listen to a quarter note delay on the verse with no feedback in here on sounds. The first thing I'm noticing that as I push it up, I'm hearing the S's first before I hear any of the rest of the delay. So I want to get rid of that right away. I put my low pass filter on to get rid of those S's and T's that kind of catch your attention to make the effect more subtle and I can use more of it. So the delay adds an extra dimension to the melody that wasn't there before, and it feels pretty nice. Now let's change it up and go for an eighth note to see what that feels like. Alright, so that's nice too. Let's try adding a little bit more feedback on the eighth note delay so that we get a little balance of what the eighth note was doing and what the quarter note's doing. The faster the delay, the more feedback time I can get away with. If I'm doing an eighth note delay, I can kick my feedback up to about 40% without any problems. So if you're following me so far, type feedback in the comments below. Now we've added a little extra texture and flavor to it by adding more feedback. Now let's switch back to quarter note and see what it feels like with the feedback at around 35%. Right, that feels pretty good. Those are two different flavors of delay that you can choose. Now let's listen to the chorus and see what it feels like on there. For I was far away in dead in sin. I know I to live again. Now I like how it adds that extra bit of sustain, especially with the longer notes in this chorus. So it makes it feel more like it's a cannon or a round. And that's kind of a nice thing to do to a melody. So I really like the quarter note on the chorus, but I kind of like the eighth note on the verse. So if I was mixing this song, I'd probably just get on the tap and tap it differently between the verse and the chorus so that I can get each delay without having to go through into menus and make a setting change. i just tap it in. Now another trick is to put the high pass filter on the delay as well. This is gonna keep all the noise that's coming into your vocal mic from the stage from getting delayed over and over again and making your mix messy. And then you came and drew me close in love. You washed away my guilt and filthy state. You can even roll it up to about 400 hertz and get a nice thin delay that's gonna stick out a little bit more and not clutter anything up. Let's listen to that. For I was So there's all kinds of flavors you can try. Have fun with it. Now, if you really want to be adventurous, you can add distortion to your delay and get a whole new level of rock and roll. But that's not this song. Now, one more trick for keeping your delay tucked back in the mix is to send it to the same reverb that your vocals are being sent to. This makes it feel like it's more in the same space and makes it a lot more subtle. So I'm gonna start with the delay dry and then add the reverb in halfway through and you can hear how it tucks it back in the mix. For I was So both with our filters and our reverb, we're tucking the delay back a little bit to add that time and space element, but without it being all up in your face. Now, if you see on your delay unit a modulation or mod depth and rate, that's a pitch shift that you can add to the delay. It can make it feel bigger, or it can make it sound awful and like your singers are out of tune. So be careful. Use it very sparingly and only do a few percent if you're gonna put it on at all, unless you're that bold and wanna get fired. When getting started with delays that add space, 
Pick a delay time between 20 milliseconds and 100 milliseconds. Turn up the feedback a little bit, filter the top and bottom end, and push it up a little bit to match your vocals. Now back it off, and that should be about right for adding some space. Setting your delay time between 20 and 50 milliseconds is gonna feel like a vocal doubler or a smaller room. As you get above 50 milliseconds to about 100 milliseconds, it's gonna feel like a bigger space. My guilt and A little bit goes a long way, and it's one little baby step that gets you to that big, full vocal sound. Hey, if you liked this tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit subscribe and ding the little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. I'm here to help you make every worship mix an enjoyable one.